and I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. Third attempt on this video, I put my phone on airplane mode so I cannot be interrupted again. So I'm going to try and move quick. It's going to be about a six minute video. Uh, there are some things I want to cover. Overall, the trailer uh, is in trailable condition. It's in decent shape. It really doesn't move much. Uh, we're out here at Bull Island where the boat pretty much goes in off the ramp right there uh, and comes out and then sits on the trailer. As you can see, there's bottom paint on the boat, but the boat doesn't really sit in the water unless it's at the dock for a few days. And overall, the bottom paint's in nice shape. Um, you know, it's starting to fade a little bit right there. If you guys can see underneath, torsion axle trailer, you know, you do have some brackets starting to rust, but also you have aluminum bunks. So overall, um, pluses and minuses, we do have a title for this trailer as well, and clean title for the boat and clean title for the motor. If I didn't say it, this is a 2005 Seapro SV2100CC with a Yamaha F150XA 428 hours. Overall, the exterior of the boat, as you would expect for a 2005, you're going to have a couple little fender rubs. Boat could use a detail. A couple of scratches here and there. You got a nice little tiny chip right there. Take a quick look at the prop. I have pictures up of the cowling off. Also note that uh, I see on the filter that service was marked at 419.19. So I'm going to assume all services are up to date. And I know I found one right there. Right there. While I'm out here, let me cover this. These hubs look like they're probably going to have to be replaced soon. I would consider that in your offer. Uh, let me just check the other side real quick. I would just replace them. I mean, for the, our purposes here, the boat kind of cuts in and out. These bolts look a little fresher. I'd probably just do all four if you're going to be traveling to the ramps a lot. Something to keep in mind. Oh, the motor is a 2012, by the way. That's a 2012 motor, 2005 boat. Cushions for the boat. Forward cushions. You can see right here you got a little rip there. But overall, the rest of them, they're, they're fine. This is actually going to be your uh, seating cushion for the back, which would be like this. Well, actually the other way. And also your backrest on the C-Pro here. These have been sitting in storage. Uh, the seller has not been using them. And just take a quick look. You guys see that right there? That needs to be welded on back there. So it could, you know, drop into the poles. And this is actually the backrest for your helm seating, which I will get up to when I get up there. So there's one thing that definitely needs attention. Hubs definitely need attention at some point. I mean, they may be perfectly fine, but uh, if you get a flat tire, you know, you're going to be having a hard time getting those bolts off. Uh, let me cover what I was, uh, before I forget, as you guys can see here, we'd be sitting in those poles for that backrest here, and here, they have broken off. Um, we have this one, which is actually stowed up in there, and you would need another. Uh, Raymond Martin, uh, or a few different guys in the area could do that work for you. So keep that in mind. Overall, forward of the vessel, just giving you a view. I've showed, uh, you have plenty of storage. You guys see you got a nice little chip right here, as expected. Now, this is kind of the important one. The boat came with the Minn Kota, and it was in working condition. I think it's a 72-pound thrust, 70-pound thrust, 24-volt, uh, uh, because it would have two batteries in the under the console. Comes with the pedestal, comes with both of these electronics, but I think it's the LMS 332C. That's the one in working condition. I don't think this is, but I'm just, you know, keeping them all together. So you have them. I think this is what's functioning. So there's no point in throwing it out in case it's functioning too. You may get two GPSs. Please note that the cord is cut. That's where the GPS would plug in. Oh, and your pedal would plug in right there. Before I move back, the vessel, your center console seating. Overall, cushions are in nice shape, just weathered. Live well. Keep in mind, it's a 2012 motor with only 428 hours on it. 
So, you know, that that's that's a big uh, bonus here. You guys take a look around. That is where you'd be popping in to the back. You also have pedestal access and pedestal up front. And up here, let's just cover this without turning off the video. This is where the batteries were. The seller took them out. Uh, actually, they only see a bracket for one. I doubt that's just a 12 volt trolling motor. It would have to be at least 24 volt, you would think. But like I said, it's not really being sold with the trolling motor. It's just an added extra. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, um, you know, move on to something else. I don't know if that battery charger is even still working. It looks a lot weathered, but it might be. So that could be a bonus for you or not. I'm not pitching it. As far as I'm concerned, the boat doesn't have a trolling motor. Your VHF, T-top's in nice shape. Uh, I haven't tried to run this stereo, but there's a hookup for one here. So I'm just gonna close that up now. Controls, gauges. Uh, let me just see something real quick. Yep. Gauges all working. Uh, I don't know if MPH is, but you're gonna get that on your GPS. Your tax showing 428 hours. Obviously the fuel gauge is working. They all actually, all the gauges look fresh and new. And this GPS map was just put on. This is a GPS map XS. I'm gonna assume it's a 741, uh, although it's not marked. And this was just done within the last year. So a lot of pros and a few cons, no doubt. Uh, the boat could definitely use a cleaning. Sorry, I didn't get to that. Um, let me just pop up in here. The battery set for the boat is you got back two batteries side by side and the battery switch is in that corner. And let me just pop up and show you this real quick. And that is that one piece that fell off. I don't know where the other one is. So overall, hopefully those speakers look pretty fresh too. So I'm gonna assume that that stereo works, but I ride with a boom box, so I don't care whether the stereo is working on the boat or not. So anyway, those are all the pluses and minuses from what I can see. Remember, I'm not a surveyor or marine mechanic. Definitely detail would be nice. I'd change out a couple hubs, get a few pieces welded. But overall, as far as function of the boat goes, she's a nice running boat. I see her on the water all the time. You may have a working trolling motor. You may not. And But what you do have is a 2012 Yamaha 150 XA with only 428 hours. And your T-top, which is, I guess, something to point out. A lot of these SVs don't have them, and that T-top looks pretty, well, it looks pretty fresh. It could be stock. I mean, it's got the snaps on the side. But anyway, with T-top, let's add that into the plus column. So anyway, Rob out here at I am always in hotwater.com, 2005 CPRO 2100. SV 2100cc Yamaha F 150XA 2012 428 hours and that'll about do it. I'm going to move on to the next boat. Rob and I am always in hotwater.com wishing you guys a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.